Okay, so we at day 12, so we just finished our ritual mission, our first ritual mission, and hopefully I've explained the ritual mission well enough to you guys. So this is, um, so in this part of the video, um, we will continue with our hunt mission. So one mission is at the chapel, and I, what's this mission at? The maze. Um, okay, I, I think I want to do the chapel. Mm, yeah, I think the chapel is easier. All right, I have a level 7 shield bearer. Um, do this without a blade master. All right, it's the first time I've done a mission without a blade master. I think we should be able to do this. Um, okay. This will not stand. Okay, maybe that was not the right decision to make. Oh, no blade master. Maybe um. Okay, I probably should have bought. Joy will walk these streets again. It's probably okay, right? It's probably okay. Okay, so we just advance up. Okay, we have uh, infected and uh, two hunters. Um, not too difficult. Um, so it's the same map with um the picture of the maid here. Let's see if we can find the child. Sometimes the child is watching. Sometimes, not always. Okay, so there's a picture of the deacon as well here that you can see. Another picture of the deacon. So the deacon must be someone very powerful because there's um lots of paintings of the maid and the deacon here. There's also the deacon here. I can't see where the child is, but sometimes um the child or the statue of the child is somewhere and he's watching Now this person has lost armor, we'll be able to do a ton more damage. Um, that's why Impressive. armor destruction is actually a really good memory. Especially later on, because if you destroy our opponent's armor, they are not able to... Um, Well, um, their health don't mean as much. Uh, because if an opponent has very strong armor, then um, you won't be able to do as much damage. That's what I meant. So a skill that mitigates enemy, enemy armor is really, really good because you can then do more damage. Range destruction. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. I just want to see if I he can um, hit me. I want to move to a space here because. Uh, Helena won't be able to go through here. If I block her, 
she will only be able to go around this way. Yeah, so you can block your allies in range. Which is really, really bad if you do that. So this guy will be able to keep buffing him. Or... Um... Hmm... Alright, now I want to step out with Jill. There we go. Shatter them. Okay. Will the poor All right, so there's still a hunter here. Right, nice. I didn't need to use that interception shot. Um, I, I'm not sure some of the decision I made. Oh, yeah, okay. Because I didn't want going to burst. It will reap what suffering has sown. Attack this enemy. Okay. <clears throat> Joe can use protective force here, right? Yep, there we go. Excellent. So protective force not only knocked them away, but also cancelled this person's delayed attack. That's why protective force is awesome. Come into my arms and repent your wicked. Ways. We have five more enemies remaining. Blessed are those who heed the call. Just move up here. Ada will be able to take care of this. Yeah, that's why armor mitigation is really, really good. Memories once locked away from us. All right, we can stay here. We don't need to worry. Stand back or be caught in regret. Are pretty strong soul slingers, so I'm just gonna park Ada here. I don't need to worry about her. Another terror. Right, so two more enemies have spawned. All right, they're right behind us. So I'm just gonna move Helena back there to engage.
Striking. Uh, move Joe back as well. No more false prophets. Uh, move Ada back as well. So we haven't got many rescue missions, um, and that's not really good because we are very short on resurrection token. I just want to move all ally units back. This basically allows me to hide from the infected, so the infected can't attack us. Also, it exposes our uh, the infected to our soul slinger, so we can take an easy shot. Shatter them. Cindy is still really far away, but she has a pretty decent amount of health, so I'm not particularly worried. Alright, I'll give Helena the um, experience for this one. GG. His we creed promises closer strength. to fulfilling our purpose. No matter what, we will find our own. We have no choice but to advance the next day. All Another movement range of daughter. This time. Lullaby. Movement range of War Daughter is increased by 1, or damage is increased by 30%. A thousand melody seeping through the walls finally lured the child to sleep. Okay, that's really good. Um, however, we have some really difficult missions. An impossible rescue mission. But our, um, in the maze. So rescue missions, we have to escort and save the Bright Soul. All right. We'll bring our strongest team possible. Um, I do. I don't mind two soul slingers. I will bring a lower level unit. And uh, hmm. Or I can bring Cindy. I think I'm going to bring Cindy. Because I'm not sure what skill to put on Helena. Whether I want to use Vital Grace or Saving Grace. A saving Grace is just more... I feel like Saving Grace is more what useful. More must we sacrifice before the end? Um, I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> I 
So this is called the maze. Your guilty conscience obscures your path. The road to salvation is quite clear. Okay. Like all rescue missions, the bright soul gets to go first, but then the enemy, then our daughter. If we have the um, special unit, the scythe dancer, which is what we will get later, she will also be able to take turns very fast. Alright, the bright soul. I'm just gonna park her here. This is gonna expose um, his back to our daughter. Alright, with um, Bella, I wanna use sidestep here. Lightning strike to the here. And then move. My fears. Memories once locked away from us. All right, five hundred damage. Okay. Obviously, because the thirty percent damage increase inspires me. That's um still ridiculous, though. But I ha I have had a Soul Slinger do like a thousand damage before. It's very ridiculous with a backstab. Ignore this blight at your peril. They will drag our daughters into the void. Yeah, it was pretty much GG. More followers of his twisted creed. Okay, we have a bunch of enemies coming here, but we don't need to worry about it too much because um, our daughters are very, very strong. So we should be able to do this mission without too much problem. Should is the key word here. I just want to make sure everyone's moving up because... Um, I don't want um, my daughters to be left alone. Like, um, I don't want my daughters to separate too much from each other. It's a real problem. Okay, so, so Bella is basically behind enemy lines. And that's exactly what I wanted to what exactly what I wanted her to do because she's very very strong. She has 130 AP. She also has the skill that increases her damage as each enemy surround her. So that's exactly what I want her to do because then I can use imbued blade. Stand back or be caught in regret. Because with imbued blade Uh, I'll be able to take down two enemies with one hit. What suffering has sown. So, notice uh, how they spawn enemies behind us and enemies in front of us. So, the, um, they're trying to surround us, um, and that's exactly what we are going to do. Um, 
different. We are not going to let them surround us. Will the poor one's okay. suffering never end? So there are a lot of enemies behind us. Um, we have to make our stand here. Basically, if you advance too quickly, a lot of enemies will spawn. <clears throat> Only a devil Maybe I was too ambitious. Right, so it doesn't have many places to go. I can't get too close to the um Um, I didn't mean to do that. That was me selecting the wrong target. Striking. Memories. I meant to select the larvae. Now it's going to use sticky armor. Sticky armor gives it 310 armor. Okay, it's going to immobilize me, but I'm not worried at all. Because I have sidestep to get out of it. Inspires me. They're going to target lock Clements, but it's not a problem. Like always, just go for the back backstab. It does a ton of damage. Moving the blood so up. Okay, so now Bella is um able to get out being mobilized using lightning strike. Okay, so sticky armor, notice what he did. Now I can't move, right? But I can still move with sidestep. See? Isn't that awesome? And that 310 armor isn't gonna help him. It's not gonna help him because I do a thousand five hundred seventy damage with uh, slash. Uh, 300 armor isn't gonna do anything. Plus, I get 20% extra damage when I'm near enemies. No more false prophets. All right, let's get out of here quickly. So I have a different set of strategy. Uh, when I reach a high difficulty, 
when I play this mission, but I have a very strong team, so I'm using a more direct route to play the maze mission. I'd, if I was to do this mission at much higher difficulty, like on the fourth and the fifth week, I will play it very, very differently. Alright, looks like the game is bugged out a little bit because you can see the timeline is bugged out. I don't, I don't know why that happens. Sometimes that happens. It's actually really annoying. Now I can't see the timeline properly. The larvae always tries to run away from you. So that's what makes them quite diff um, quite annoying. No more false prophets. Alright, Bella should be able to get out of here now. Same as um, Clemens. Our objective is just to leave, not to defeat every single enemy on the map. Um, there's no point to defeat every single enemy on the map. I mean, you get extra experience and memories, but it's okay. I've already got enough experience and memories. I don't really need to do this. I could if I really decide to do this. Like, I may consider defeating this enemy. I revel in her strength. Just because I can. It's actually, it's not really point, it's not really meaningful, right? We can escape here. GG. It's not too difficult. Alright, everybody leveled up, which is really great. Um, unfortunately, we have to sacrifice this... Together. You are stronger. Unit. So there's a hunt mission or the survival mission. The survival mission gives more Vitae. What will you remember now? Um, sure. Because the reason I'm doing the survival mission is because I have that extra movement range. And also the extra damage. The end. So, um, I'm not particularly worried about getting, like, stuck. So I can't leave. They've come for us. <clears throat> the extra damage and movement range is going to make Prison it a lot easier. By suffering.
Yeah, I'm just doing way too much damage. GG. I mean, I'm not gonna call it GG because that's um, that's a way to jinx yourself. Uh, but before we go, we can have a look at the map. Notice how this um, it's also the dark corner, but um, the map is slightly different to the map we saw before. There's these two paths, right? And I'm telling you, it's going to be one of these. It's, uh, it's unlikely to be here for the evac zone. And again, the countdown is 258. Now, you want to stay roughly in the middle somewhere here, uh, just in case it's one of these um, evac zones is going to be up here. Um, I've never experienced the evac zone down here, but you don't want to be anywhere further up than this area. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is stay in the middle. Helena here to do what needs to be done. Some enemies will spawn here. We're gonna move Sam to here. So at the moment, not too many difficult enemies. Um, for survival missions, make sure to take down the larvae as soon as possible. Or the infested. Both are okay. Uh, both are equal priority. Like taking down either one is okay. Okay, I'm just gonna make a path for Sam to go. Yeah, this um this event is very strong. No GG. Mercy. Will the poor one's suffering never end? Blessed are those who heed the call. Okay, so we can see there are infested and larvae coming. Our holy okay, so legs, um, those. this guy's less of an issue, but these enemies are going to be a problem for me, especially that uh, infested. Just gonna arm up off just in case. You never know. We still have one hundred and fifty two turns on the countdown, one hundred and fifty two initiative. So I'm not particularly worried. Flesh is its canvas. Alright. The armor buff was not necessary. I was just scared that that enemy might attack me. Stand back the, or be the infested. Right, in strike. I revel in her strength.
All right, I obviously made a mistake here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I did that. Don't ask me why I did that. Yes, it doesn't make sense. I know. Exquisite. Memories once locked away from us. Shred them down. I think I miscounted the tiles just then. So I had to take that in, um, infected and larvae down because... Otherwise, it's going to cause me a, a whole lot of trouble. What new horrors must we face? Scavengers. A hunter. They want to trap us here. We just have to move towards the middle as quickly as we can. We don't know where the evac zone is. Um... But it's likely in the middle somewhere. Likely. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea where the evac zone is. I'm a little bit concerned, actually. Because, um... It will reap what suffering has sown. Okay, it's all the way down there. Okay. That's pretty unexpected. Normally it's not like that. It's time to bail. Striking. Yeah, that's why I really like protected force. Memories once locked away from us. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out of here. More followers of his twisted creed. No, it's not worth it. They want to trap us here. You get the experience and just get out. Because um like there are plenty of hunters here, there's just too many to deal with. And hunters are really annoying because they can leap across obstacles. So what they can do with their leap is... Um, <clears throat> see, they can leap across obstacles. So they can leap across and they can leap to areas that you don't think they will get to. For example, they can leap to here. So they can go across obstacles and attack your daughter. So you just don't want to... If you don't have to deal with them, don't deal with them. Like hunters... Just get out. Bye bye. His creed promises Let to have flourish. No matter what, we will okay, find Okay, Sammy is like 2 XP or 1 XP from leveling. That's really annoying, actually. 
Uh, there's a hump mission. I'm not going to do it with one single daughter. Okay, for Ada, I'm going to use Spirit Haste. And I'm going to use a Sam memory as I've used before, which is Treasure. An interception shot, I just increase the damage. Um, all right. Let's advance to the next day. Time slips because by. that's what we have to do. Day 14. All right. So this is a... Uh, um, Time to confront the boss. All right. Uh, I don't know which daughter I'm going to bring. I'm actually really, really nervous. Um, okay, with Slam. You know what I want to put on Slam? Inferno. The target Act 5 initiative units later. And Saving Grace. Now, with Saving Grace, I just want to increase its damage. Um, I could also use something like this. A mask, reduce target movement range by 50% for 50 initiative units. That's also pretty good. Um, I'm just going to add something fairly simple on it. Okay, so... Um, another thing is Jill. With protective force, I want to use this. With, uh, protective force is really good with um, target immobilizing memories. So like remorse. So I can immobilize enemies. So when I push them away, they can't get to my melee range again. This is really, really useful against scavengers and ravengers. Ravengers are stronger versions of scavengers. Really, really dangerous. Um... Yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to bring Rebecca or Helena. Oh, that, that's a that's a tough choice. The yeah, armor reduction. Initiative delay. I don't know what skill I would pick for Helena, whether I want to try out Vital Grace, but when I used it, it wasn't as good as Saving Grace. Like, Saving Grace was just a superior skill. Um, and there's very few situations where I could use Vital Grace. Saving Grace is so useful, though. But I also think about trying to diversify my characters a little bit, you know, rather than just using the same, same set of skills. Anyway... Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.